Now, your Max 5 Interactive Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Garrett Lewis, voted Best Weathercast by the Associated Press. Spring flooding continues. Myself, meteorologist Joe Pennington and Jason Adams have been tracking the storms all day. Joe, we've had a lot of rainfall. It yeah. looks like it's finally letting go, but the floodwaters continue to rise. Here's some eye video that was sent in. Watch and listen from Fayetteville. First responders blasting through flooded streets. This is in the Fayetteville area. Randy sent this eye video in. They can barely get through in their big trucks. The rainfall slowly coming to a close. The flooding continues, though, in northwest Arkansas and some parts of the River Valley. On top of the flooding, we also had tornado warnings in Logan County. Joe, some damage being reported there. Yeah, we got some eye picks coming in uh, from the Boonville area. Mike Bell sent this one in. Boonville, Coulter Mountain, west of Highway 23, north of Highway 10. Again, earlier today, we had a supercell move through producing possible tornado damage. We'll keep an eye on that. Otherwise, we have more flooding video to talk about. This coming in from the West Fork area of the White River. Wow. Ken sending this picture. And just That's a lot of water right there moving along the White River. And this picture coming in from Noel. This is north of Muldrow between Liberty Liberty and Nycut about a mile off Highway 101. This it looks is something like an earthquake exactly. Almost, this it? is something you see in an earthquake uh, with the road just uh, washed out in that area. And this picture coming in from Fayetteville. My goodness, uh, Kimmy. That's outside the Cliff Apartments. Just obliterating the gate there. That's uh, a lot of water. Very powerful force right there, Garrett. All right, well, let's take a look at what we can expect to see. When is all of this moving out of the area? We'd love to see your pictures and eye video. We'll be compiling those tonight for a special segment coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. Rainfall totals have just been excessive. Now, these are two day totals. Remember, we first started seeing the rain back on last Wednesday and Thursday, but in the last two days, over 10 inches of rain in Fayetteville. Fayetteville has been ground zero for the heavy rainfall, a little over four inches in Fort Smith and Poto, right at about two inches of rain. Rain vision shows us who saw the most rain, and this is just 24 hours totals and the highest 24 hour totals have been in and around the Fayetteville area. You can see the red strip which runs back to the west and to the south. As we take a look at Max 5 interactive radar, I'm also tracking showers and storms that are moving off towards the east. Those showers and storms making their way from Russellville. No severe weather locally. We possibly did have a tornado around the Hot Springs area. It looks like the tornado threat is almost gone for our entire area. Still watching a few cells in Logan County. But would you look at that? The rain finally ending in West Benton County in southwest Washington County. Isn't it going to be nice to see the rain finally stop falling, at least for the time being? It's 58 in Rogers, 61 in Springdale, 59 in Fayetteville, 57 in Bentonville, and 59 degrees in Salem Springs. Now in Fort Smith, our temperatures running below normal, too, in the 60s at 63 in Fort Smith and 64 in Poto. Now, why have we seen all this rainfall? Why, why won't it stop? Well, the reason has to do with the upper level pattern, which is stalled, and this boundary, which got here last Thursday and hasn't moved. And you can see the boundary when you look at temperatures. 57 in Springfield, 82 in Dallas. The boundary has been right around Oklahoma City and Little Rock. Moisture goes up and over that boundary, and it dumps right there over northeast Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas, and south Missouri. But I have good news for you, because this boundary, which has been right around our area over the last day or so, will eventually make its way farther to the south. So tomorrow, I think the front stalls in South Arkansas and Louisiana, which means lower rain chances for all of us, at least for Tuesday. We do see the rain chances pick back up Wednesday. And then finally, high pressure moves in. We'll have the spring sunshine. And man, can you imagine how green everything is going to be by the time the weekend rolls around? By the way, out to the west, watch this. A few showers and storms right in here developed. Those are going to round to the base of that trough and move to the northeast. So we are going to get some more rain tonight. It won't be as heavy as what we saw earlier today. So tomorrow morning on Futurecast at 7 a.m., indicating mostly cloudy skies, we'll see some sunshine tomorrow. Won't that be nice? By the second half of the day, though, an area of low pressure starting to develop out west. That's going to raise that front back to the north. So we'll see more rain move into the area. Late Tuesday night, you can see cloud cover increasing. Showers are going to move into the area Tuesday night and during the day on Wednesday. So in northwest Arkansas, more rain chances on Wednesday. We clear out for good, though, Thursday and Friday. A brief timeout tomorrow on Tuesday as the system makes its way farther to, south, to the southeast. Overnight lows into the 40s and highs into the 70s. In Fort Smith and the River Valley, we're looking at temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Getting warm by the weekend. Also, another chance of rain moving into the forecast on Saturday. About two or three weeks ago, I was on the air talking about how we were in an exceptional drought and we've had a foot of rain a week later. <laughs> How fast it changes. I don't think we're in a drought anymore. Man, and I wish we could have spaced it out because this rainfall yeah. would have been beneficial throughout the spring season. But to see a foot in about two days, these flooding problems, they're going to continue because the water levels continue yeah. to rise even after the rain stops. And any amount of rain is going to make it even worse. Yeah, it's yeah. going to take a while to get all this drained out. All right, Garrett, appreciate that. Uh, our storm team, our uh, spring flood.